Guybrush Threepwood, and I want to be a pirate. Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that. Um, I'm over this way. Ah, well then, Thriftweed. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. So, you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck! Um, where did you say those pirate leaders were? The Scum Bar. Right. Thanks. I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Guybrush. Yeah? So what? Where can I get a drink? A drink? You could wait for the cook to notice you. But that would take all day. Just find the mug and sneak into the kitchen. That is what we all do. What happened to your eye? Well, I was putting in my contact lens when... Hey, wait a second. That is none of your business. Sorry to bother you. Bye. Right. What be ye wanting, boy? I want to be a pirate. So what? Why bother us? Hey, don't forget we're short on help because of this whole chuck thing. So? So, no pirates means no swag, and no swag means no grog, and we're getting dangerously low on grog. Hmm. Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Well, all right. But you don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through... The Three Trials! Uh... What three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword. And the art of thievery. And the quest. The what? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. Right! You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and a, a treasure huntery. Then return with proof that you've done it. And then you must drink grog with us. Grog! Tell me more about mastering the sword. First, get here your sword. You must seek out and defeat the sword, Master. Someone in town can probably direct you. Oh! You want to find somebody to train you first. 
Imagine trying to take on the sword master without any training. <laughs> Tell me more about mastering the art of thievery. We want you to procure a small item for us. The idol of many hands. In the governor's mansion. The governor keeps the idol of many hands in a display case in the mansion outside the town. You'll have to get past the guards, naturally. The tricky part will be getting past the dogs outside. Hey, they're a particularly vicious breed. They might be able to drug him or something. Tell me more about treasure hunting. Legend has it that there's a treasure buried here on the island. All you must do is find the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island and bring it back here. Should I have a map or something? Well, you can hardly expect to find a treasure without a map. And don't forget, X marks the spot! <laughs> I'll just be running along now. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. Go into the kitchen! It's boiling hot. It's some sort of meat, or meat-like substance. I think that bird will peck my hand off. Someone cooked a head cheese in this. It's some sort of meat or meat-like substance. It's boiling hot. I can't pick that up. It's boiling hot. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir, nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir, glad to be dead. <laughs> We are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship that murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Uh, y yes, sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. Problem? What possible problem could there be? 
I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they're afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, he's a pirate wannabe. Young, inexperienced, probably nothing to worry about. Don't know why I bother you with it. <laughs> I'll have him taken care of myself. Wait! I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. Get in the cannon, but the gunpowder makes me sneeze. Well, I can do it. I hurt my hand taming the lions last week. I hardly think that little scratch compares to my chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. You don't have any allergies, you faker. You get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Slacker. Loser. Ruffian. Flop. Weasel. Weevil. Miscreant. Tony. <clears throat> Say there, son, how would you like the chance? A once in a lifetime chance. To perform an amazing feat. A death defying feat. Well, not so death defying, really. Uh, dangerous feat. No, not dangerous at all. An easy feat. But exciting. With the amazing. Adventurous. Acrobatic! And exceedingly well known! Fabulous! Flying! Ferrucini, brothers! That's us! My brother Alfredo! And my brother Bill! Sound good? Oh! It's very simple, really. See that cannon over there? All you have to do is get in the cannon and we'll shoot you out of it! Across the room! Quite safe, actually. So, what do you say? How much will you pay me? How about 478 pieces of eight? Okay, sounds good. Have you got a helmet? Of course I have a helmet. What sort of idiot do you take me for? Well, let's have it. We want to be sure that it's safe. Wouldn't want you hurt. No, sorry. Ah, that will work as a helmet. Now we can do the trick. Step right over here, son. Now, put on your helmet. And get in the cannon. And we'll take care of the rest. Echo! Echo! Ah! It works! Oh, I'm so relieved. Hey! Are you okay? Where's my helmet? He's all right! Hooray! We are spared an embarrassing and financially debilitating lawsuit. Here is your money, sir. Just the recompense for aiding us. The basic theory is fine. We just need to change the aim a bit. I'll try it next. No, I'll do it next. No, me! No, me! Slacker! Loser! Ruffian! Fop!
Hey, don't mess with my rat. Do you know where I can find a treasure map around here? Wanna buy a map, eh? Our maps are top quality, not like the bird-caged liners you get from that clown across the street. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> These are actually copies of the minutes of the last meeting of the Melee Island PTA. Can't even give them away. <laughs> Want one? No, but I'll take one if you give me two pieces of eight. Okay, that's fair. I'll just be running along now. Ahoy there, fancy pants. Got a good deal on swords right now. Got a special on shovels today. Are you waiting for me to fall asleep or something? What do you want? About this sword. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Best hundred pieces of eight you ever spent. What else do you want? About this shovel. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Oh, it'll pay for itself, believe me. Yeah, you'll dig up 75 pieces of eight in no time. But hey, save some treasure for the rest of us, would you? <laughs> what else do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. Whatever. Gotta get me out of here! I'm a victim of society! Not to mention halitosis. Ugh. Hey, it's hard to keep my breath minty fresh when there's nothing to eat in here but rats. Talk to Death Breath? No thanks. Excuse me, but do you have a cousin named Sven? No, but I once had a barber named Dominique. Close enough. Let's talk business. You want to buy a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island? Only one in existence. Rare. Very rare. Only 100 pieces of eight. I'll take it. It'll make a swell gift. There you go. You made a wise decision. Now get lost. No one will miss just this one thing.
What may I help you with, son? Wait. Don't say anything. I can sense your name is... is... Guybrush. Guybrush nose hair. No, no. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Am I not right? Wow, that was amazing! Do you know any other tricks? I do not deal in tricks. What I know is the truth. So? My mind-reading skills tell me it is your future you are interested in. Are you certain this is something you really wish to know? Yes, tell me everything that's going to happen to me. I am getting a vision. I see you taking a voyage. A long voyage. I see you captaining a ship. Yeah! I see... What? See what? I see a giant monkey. Yikes! I see you inside the giant monkey. Oh, gross. Wait. It's all becoming clear. Your journey will have many parts. You will see things better left unseen. You will hear things better left unheard. You will learn things better left unlearned. What kind of things? I hate surprises. No. The time is not right to know. When you know your purpose, come see me. I will let you know then. Yikes! Shall pass. None shall pass. Ah, a red herring. Pass. I think I'll knock. It'd only be polite. What do you want, you wimpy little spineless maggot? Could you train me to be better than the Swordmaster? Better than the Swordmaster? You? <laughs> you could never be half the sword fighter Carly is. Even with hours of hard work and sweat and blood. I remember fighting side by side with Carla at Port Royal. The local constabulary had us cornered. 
It looked like we were done for. But then she said, But I digress. You just don't have what it takes. I do so have what it takes. You do not. I do so. You do not. I do so. Oh, I like your spirit. I'll do what I can. Of course, it'll cost you. Did you see my sign? I usually charge 30 pieces of eight for a big job like this one. What do you got? Well, I've got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more, say no more. Let's see your sword. Okay, check it out. Yes, this is a nice one. Let's get to it. Okay, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it? Boy, you fight like a dairy farmer. I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business, I got no choice. I need the money. Yes, I can see this is gonna take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with everyone. It's only because I feel that special student-mentor pieces of eight bonding that I'm going to these lengths. I'm gonna put you up against the machine. The machine? Is this gonna hurt? Yikes. Come at me. Don't be afraid, you won't hurt me. Advance, thrust, recover, parry, repulse. Advance, thrust, recover, parry, repulse. Watch your footwork. Advance, thrust, recover, parry, repulse. Hours later. You're starting to get the hang of it. More hours later. Not bad. You've got good form. Now I'm gonna let you in on the true secret of sword fighting. Sword fighting is kind of like making love. It's not always what you do, but what you say. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros, they know just when to cut their opponent with an insult. One that catches them off guard. You see, kid, your wit's got to be twice as sharp as your sword. Let's try a couple of insults out, shall we? Okay, imagine this. We're fighting up a storm. Just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting and I say to you, you fight like a dairy farmer. You respond with? So's your mother. I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. You should have responded with something like, How appropriate! You fight like a cow! You see, it's razor-sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this. You're trapped up against a wall. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say, Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with? I am rubber, you are glue. I can see we're in deep trouble here. Ah. Oh. A correct response to, Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab, would have been something like, First, you better stop waving it around like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. Now, I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. I can't help but feel like I've been ripped off. I'm sure you're feeling something similar.
What are you wanting, you scurvy lover? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you better stop waving it like a feather duster. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. I am rubber, you are glue. You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. I give up. You win. Move out of the way, or I cut my way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. I am rubber. You are glue. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, he'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. There are no words for how disgusting you are. I am rubber, you are glue. I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I give up. You win. Move out of the way, or I cut me way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I'm not going to take your insolence sitting down. I am rubber. You are glue. There are no words for how disgusting you are. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me and nobody ever will. Oh yeah? I give up, you win. Move out of the way or I cuts my way through. Ever notice how all these roads start to look the same? Yeah. Now that you mention it, they do. It's probably just that we're tired. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me and nobody ever will. You run that fast? I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. I am rubber, you are glue. There are no words for how disgusting you are. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Where did my sword go?
Let you be wanting, you scurvy lover. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I'm not going to take your insolence sitting down. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. You have the manners of a beggar. I am rubber, you are glue. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Uncle, uncle. Hey, this better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. You have the manners of a beggar. I am rubber, you are glue. There are no words for how disgusting you are. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. I give up, you win. And a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I am rubber, you are glue. You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. You have the manners of a beggar. I'm shaken, I'm shaken. I'm not going to take your insolence sitting down. Oh, yeah? Wow, you're good enough to fight the sword, master. What you be wanting, you scurvy lover? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. I'm not going to take your insolence sitting down. Oh, your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, eh? <laughs> Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. Yikes, nice move. What you be wanting, you scurvy lubber? Sorry to bother you. 
I'll uh, be on my way. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. You have the manners of a beggar. Oh, I'm shaken. Oh, I'm shaken. I'm not going to take your insolence sitting down. Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, eh? You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. You run that fast? I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. Oh, yeah? Where did my sword go? What be wanting, you scurvy lover? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. You have the manners of a beggar. Oh, yeah? I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur. Oh, yeah? My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. I am rubber, you are glue. Yikes, nice move. Aye, this better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur. Oh, yeah? My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. Oh, yeah? I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur! Oh, yeah? People fall at my feet when they see me coming. I am rubber, you are glue. <laughs> uncle! Uncle! Whatever you want, you scurvy lover. Sorry to bother you. I'll uh, be on my way.
Ahoy there, fancy pants. What do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. The Swordmaster of Melee Island? Hmm. Now, I don't know. See, nobody knows the whereabouts of her secret hideout. Nobody except me. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. And don't touch anything! I better just stay back here and eavesdrop. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on the uh, business. This kid come into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike. And don't come out here again. Someone might follow you, and then I'd become another Melee Island tourist attraction. Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. Now scram. How dare you approach the Swordmaster without permission, which I surely didn't give you. I beg your pardon. I must talk to you. I doubt that. Everyone who comes here is prepared to fight. Let's be honest. You're here to prove yourself to the pirate leaders in hopes of one day being as immoral as they are. Yep. Nailed it right on the head. Gee, you're smart. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. Let's get this over with. No one will ever catch me fighting as badly as you do. You run that fast? I usually see people like you passed out on tavern floors. Even before they smell your breath? You are a pain in the backside, sir. Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, huh? My sword is famous all over the Caribbean. 
too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. I will milk every drop of blood from your body. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. I give up. You win. Well, I hope you're happy. You can go back and brag to all your friends about how you beat the Swordmaster. You'll need proof. Here. This should convince them. I've been had. This is no map. It looks like dancing lessons. Can't pick that up. The legendary lost treasure of Melee Island. This carefully reproduced piece of Melee Island history has delighted thousands of would-be pirates and their families for generations. Remember, there are other pirates on this island. So go easy on the treasure. Leave some for the next person. Here lies treasure of such unimaginable wealth. Well, you'll just have to dig it up to believe it. Paid for by the Melee Island Chamber of Commerce. Well, this shouldn't take too long. Hours pass. Hey, I think I hit something. Oh boy! It's a t-shirt! Not my size, but a nice one nonetheless. Well, I guess I should put all this dirt back now. More hours pass. 